It is Vlogmas Day 4. How are you guys? Um, it's actually a late morning. It's 11 o'clock. I woke up at 10, which is fine because I needed to sleep. But um, I am feeding the dogs right now. I just gave Lola like a mini bath because the Vaseline situation created a situation. I'm not going to paint a picture for you guys, but just know. So my shirt is a little bit wet. I just gave her a quick little bath um, and they're going to eat now. Um... I feed them blue buffalo canned, like wet food, and I mix it with some dry food. This is Wellness Complete Health for adult dogs. So I just mix the two, give them some wet food because they love the wet food, and then some dry food just to like make sure that their teeth are still good because Yorkies are like notorious for bad breath, and trust me, they have it. Um, so I usually give them like for breakfast, it's usually like a quarter of a can with some dry food. Um, but I'm giving them a half a can today because they're hungry. They have not really eaten since being here because, you know, they're just getting used to it. So I'm going to give them some food. And usually I heat it up, but today I put it directly in the metal bowl, so I clearly cannot heat that up. <laughs> but they'll be fine. And then I just mix the two together. Just easier to do when it's hot, but. So that they can't like pick through the wet. Or they can't like pick through um, and leave the dry food. Because they would. My poor Oliver. He hit his, smacked his head against the door frame. And then screamed. It was so sad. So then I had to like hold him. He scratched me a little. He like was dazed and confused for a second, but he's fine now. Oh my God, these dogs are going to kill me, literally kill me. So Thanksgiving night, I came home from my grandma's house and could not find Oliver anywhere. Okay, so immediately I was panicked. Also that night our heat like broke in our house and it was like 17 degrees outside. So my mom came, my, <sighs> let me start over. <laughs> so my dad ended up leaving Thanksgiving dinner in the middle of it to go home and meet a plumber at the house or like a heating and cooling guy to try to fix the heat so that's just so then he came back and everything was fine so we leave it's like 10 o'clock at night i go home i can't find oliver anywhere he's not in any of the rooms he's not in the bathroom he's not in the laundry room he's not in the garage i start literally panicking like panicking is not even the word panicking because i'm like holy shit if he got out he's so small he's so helpless he's gone like someone an animal other and either another animal got him or he got hit by a car or he's freezing to death like oh my god so i had lost my fucking mind going insane i i'm literally hyperventilating like sobbing crying screaming his name i go outside scream his name a couple times mind you it's 10 o'clock at night so i look psychotic but i'm like ah, like screaming for him i come back inside and the little shit i see him freaking like scurry off into the bathroom i'm like sir where were you? So I picked him up and like everything was fine, but he almost killed me that night. And then the next day, the next day, so I was taking Louie, Charlie, Jeter, and Oliver outside, and I hadn't put a leash on Lola yet because if you don't put a leash on her, she just darts off and runs. And she, guess what she did? She got out the door and guess what was in my yard? A red fox, okay? And she starts freaking chasing the fox into the woods. I'm barefoot, screaming her name, chasing after her like, Lola! literally running like running like I've never run before chasing after her screaming her name as she's freaking darting into the woods towards the red fox I'm like oh. eventually I got her but these dogs these dogs I can only imagine what children do to you guys because I can't take it <laughs> anyways long story short now I'm making their food so they're gonna have like a little brunch because it's a little late for breakfast but it's all good um all right, here. Let's open up some windows. Because you guys know how I am with natural light. I need all of it. All the time. Let's see. I'm like in my pajama shorts. <laughs> Hopefully there's no one outside like staring at my windows. Hello, light. Hello, light. 
windows are open I'm a happy camper so today's plans are to get my bedroom back in order I'm gonna take a shower gonna get ready because I haven't gotten ready in a couple days I've got a pimple <laughs> but gonna shower get ready but first I think I'm gonna should I decorate first I also don't know if I want to decorate my dresser because I'm definitely gonna paint it it's too dark so I should probably wait I don't know but I am gonna take the contact paper off of this box right here because it looks so yellow gold. I cannot, I can't, I can't. Okay, so this is what it looks like before and I already took the contact paper off of one, the other side, so I wanna show you, but I personally love to look at like the contrast from like what it looked like to, you know, how I want it. Uh, so this is the before. The contact paper is like, it's it was nice for the other, you know, my other apartment where I had a lot of gold stuff, but it's like very yellow gold if you can see. Um, so then this side is just like the pine box, which I think I'm going to either get silver contact paper or paint white, but I really don't want to do any type of painting to be honest. Um, so maybe just like silver contact paper or I don't know, maybe it'll look okay like this. I don't know. No, I don't think so. To me, it looks unfinished. Like I don't like the pine box, but yeah, and then this is my last like really gold thing in here besides my candlesticks and that little basket over there, which is kind of like tarnished, so it doesn't even look that gold, but um, that's just going to stay because it just is. <laughs> Breakfast time for me, it's almost 12, I almost admit it, it's almost noon, but I can't eat when I wake up, I don't know, I just, I'm not hungry when I first wake up, typically. Um, but now I'm like starving. So I'm gonna make some two eggs and some turkey sausage for breakfast and then get ready. I don't have any avocado. I'm so sad. I have to go to the store. But I don't have ketchup, so I'm gonna put taco sauce on it because it's a little spicy. I cannot eat eggs plain. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I cannot do it. So I just hung that picture there and I think it looks cute actually. <clears throat> but that's just temporary until we get our kitchen table. And then I'll probably put that fur bench in storage. Grandma to the rescue. <laughs> She's trying to fix the belt that snapped. Oh, you just roll it in there? Is it just one belt? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I told you I'll get a couple so that you have I think there's another. Yeah, there's two in there. That's first. Same. I do. I'm going to get it back out. Hmm. That's so bizarre. How do you know how to do that? Oh, that's it? That's it. So you just wrap it around this thing and wrap it around that. Oh, okay. Right, now let's put it back together. Hopefully yeah. that's that black thing. Okay guys, my grandma just came by and fixed my vacuum. Thank God, because I need to vacuum my floor. It's been stressing me out. So I'm gonna vacuum my floor and then I'm gonna try to get my dresser together um, I just need to get it together and then make my bed and really just like see what else I may need. And then I don't think I'm going to go to home goods or target today. I think we're going to do the Christmas tree and it's already I think like two 30. So I think Eddie will be home around like four. So I don't think I'm going to go there today, but I just want to like get everything together and see what I need and then go to home goods and target, you know? So <laughs> I'm going to vacuum my floors now. vacuumed I was I'm on the floor number one because I was like trying to get in the corners of the carpet and the wall where there could be like extra little junky stuff with my tool you know not the tool the little hose with the little slanty tool thing on it um, but I figured I would bring it back to last year's vlogmas and read some comments out loud I love doing that because I feel like that makes you guys feel like you're being heard and I just love interacting with you so I figured 
I would do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it in every vlog, but I will, unless you guys want it, but I will um, do it here and there. So I figured today would be a great day to do it just because everything's kind of settled and I have some free time. So let me go and look. Um, I'm going to do some from the top comments. Let's see. Um, VC89 says, working and watching Vlogmas Day 3. Off to a great start. I think the dresser needs to be white though. Thank you. Um, yes, I do. I definitely want to paint the dresser white. Although, like, I don't know. Like, I like the way it looks in itself. Like, I think it looks like a nice piece. I'm looking at it right now. I think it looks like a nice piece, but considering everything else is white and bright, I think it needs to be white too. But I also was talking to my family and I've been Caitlin about it and um, we were saying how like I should probably wait till the springtime so I can either do it outside on the porch or just like have all the windows open and, and with like the heat and stuff like hopefully it would dry that way like the natural heat from outside um, I don't know we'll see I don't know we'll see we'll see how I cannot even think about painting right now it's too overwhelming to think about like literally painting this thing right now um, but that's not to say that in like two or three or four days I'll be like mm, time to paint but yeah I definitely agree with you it definitely has to be white just because everything else is white and this is like let's just be real my taste I like neutrals and I like bright and white and I just like that stuff so I think that if I painted it white it would be a good like investment I would definitely get more out of it so I've been watching some videos on like chalk painting and stuff because chalk paint you don't have to sand and I really don't want to sand this down um, so I think that's what I'll end up doing and then putting in some cute little like crystal knobs or possibly silver to go off like the silver studding on my bed frame who knows we'll see we'll see what happens but for right now like this second this week I'm not gonna be painting it but I definitely agree it needs to be white so will definitely happen soon um okay marcella rodriguez says wouldn't that apartment be too girly looking for your 22 year old brother lol i mean i love your style but doesn't your brother mind all the flowers and maybe you can both decorate and agree on stuff together um so he really doesn't care to be honest with you like he likes the way i decorate he likes the way everything looks like modern and girly and homey and cozy like he likes that um, and also he likes the fact that I had all this stuff and he doesn't have to put anything out into buying decor. Um, so he literally told me I could do whatever I wanted. Um, we are going to get a rug though. It's going to bring in like a little bit, I don't know, I'm thinking like a nice oriental rug, um, with like blues and silvers and grays and like a white background. Hopefully we can find one, but yeah, my camera died per usual, but I'm still sitting on the floor. I was vacuuming my fur rug but it's like really annoying to vacuum a fur rug so I was like using the tool and like almost combing it out with the tool but vacuuming it vacuuming it at the same time bizarre um let me go back <clears throat> okay the next one is from Shasta Porter she said you might be able to get those marks off the stove top with baking soda vinegar and some good scrubbing you know what I should try that she the landlady actually told me that she tried using like I don't know there's some kind of liquid underneath the sink i have to go look at it and see what it is but she used that and tried to get it the best that she could but they're like really scorched on um again it's not something that bothers me like i i don't know i just i love i really love this apartment like that's a scorched stove top is like the the least of my worries when it comes to everything and i just feel so happy here like i really do feels like home um the next one is from Lakeisha Robinson. I'm sorry, Lakeisha Robeson. She said, OMFG, yes, girl. <laughs> I'm so excited for the rest of your vlog, miss. You and your mom are absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. You're so cute. I love you. <laughs> Panda Panda said, The apartment looks great so far. I'd say leave the dresser black because one, black is hard AF to paint over, and two, it gives it that little pop of color into the room. That's so true. I was thinking about that too like I, like I said I do like it but I don't know I think I am gonna end up painting it white like I said but it does look good now I don't know I, who the hell knows what I'm gonna do probably paint it white <laughs> um Olivia Glick said paint it gray and use white pretty knobs Ooh, that would be cool I don't know if I'd paint it gray or if I'd paint it like a mm, I would probably paint it white I have an obsession with this, with white. It's really sick. Clearly, I'm wearing a white shirt. Like, I, literally, my whole wardrobe is, like, white shirts. Like, I love white. It's very crazy. Very crazy. 
Um, all right, I'll read two more from the top comments and then I'll go to something else. So in love with my hubby Jay said, I love your vlogs. Paint it the same color like your bed. That would look amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah, like a little beigey, like khaki kind of color. Again, if I were to paint it, I think I'd probably just go white because it would match all my furniture. And even like my like living room furniture, like my TV stands white. I just love white, so. <laughs> all right, let's go to newest comments and then I will go to the last comments okay so this one is from Renate Rundiel again I hope I'm pronouncing that correct she says I think that painting the dresser white is going to be hard black is a hard color to get off and also congratulations to you guys thank you so much um yeah I think it I don't know I've been watching a couple tutorials with chalk paint and I think that it would just take like a couple of coats to get it opaque but again I will definitely be trying that in a little while Kimberly loves makeup said so excited for your vlog miss. I love them last year and I'm sure and I am sure I can't speak and I'm sure loving them so far this year. Love and positive vibes to you and your fam bam from Southern Cali. P.S. Come visit us West Coasters. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> LOL. I love you so much. Um, thank you so much for enjoying the vlog miss. I hope you guys are all enjoying it. I know it's not like super interesting. It's just like literally what's going on in my life right now, but I don't know. Like I said, you guys are family, so I feel like it's just, we're just chill. We're on another level of chill. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think me and my mom are going to road trip it to California this summer. When I say road trip, I mean fly to California and then like road trip around California. But I will definitely update you guys if I do end up going this summer. Um, Marlene Lopez said, web gang in the house. I'm not too sure what that means. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Um, Ariana P Ariana Pita Pitalua said, yes, paint it chalk white with black hardware. Yeah, that would be cool too. Like a really white dress there with like black hardware. That'd be really cool too. Um, I'm going to read two more. This one is from Dora and she says, your apartment is coming along really nice. I think your dress there would look better white. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day as well. Um, yeah, I'll be painting it white soon. And the last one is from Gamers Only, and they said, she said, paint, paint it and you need a bigger TV. Um, I'm okay with my TV. Again, I had my 55-inch TV in here when I was at my parents' house, in my bedroom when I was at my parents' house, and it was huge. So now this is like a 40-something inch. It's fine. Like, it's fine. I don't even watch TV, to be honest. I really don't watch a lot of TV. I'm always on my computer, either editing, watching YouTube, or watching, like, Netflix or Hulu or something on my laptop. So, I mean... It is what it is. I do not care too much about a TV. As long as my living room has a pretty decent TV, like, I'm all set. All right, and I'm going to go to, like, the first comments because I feel like you guys need love, too. <laughs> Lupita Cadillo, Cadillo, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, said, Yay, I'm the first one here. Love you, girl. Love you, too. Thank you for being the first one. Um, okay, I'm going to definitely butcher this. Iris. Iris Ear Gonzo Dittier said, I was waiting for today's video. Love from Iceland. Ooh, thank you so much for watching. The next one's from Lakeisha Robinson, but I read that one already. The next one is from Peggy Price. She said, I'm so glad I'm subscribed to your channel. I'm also glad you moved. Can't wait for all your vlogs. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so sweet. All right. Two more, two more, two more. I get like addicted. I'm like, okay, let's keep going. Two more. Um, the next one is from Tammy Sue. She said, love your vlogs. Thank you so much. And the last one is from Tara Lynn DeGraw. And she said, your place looks great and you are relentless getting things done. I love it. Thank you so much. Yes, I am very like, I cannot feel at ease until things are done. And that's like a flaw and a gift at the same time because I want to get things done. But I also like, I need to take it easy and like do things little by little but my mind the way I the way like my brain works is I just I want to get it all done and then I can relax you know so yeah <laughs> but thank you guys all so much for sending all your comments and your well wishes again I know I said that last in last vlog but I really do appreciate it so I am gonna keep going with my room now even though I just said I was gonna slow down not gonna happen I need to finish my dresser and then I I think I'll be good I also want a new bed set. <laughs> I want a new bed set. I literally changed my bedding like I changed my underwear. I love changing my bedding. It's really sick. It's, 
I love changing my bedding. Like, <laughs> I love it. I don't know why. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so that's what I came up with for my dresser. Little, you know, top of my dresser. I put the two lamps that I used to have on my um, night nightstands. Two, those two lamps from Walmart. Flowers from Home Goods and just like little tchotchkes from Target, FabFitFun, and Home Goods. I have my perfume tray, which the tray is from my Nana, so it's very vintage old. Um, and then I have my wax warmer. This is not on, don't worry, but that's the scent that I want to be burning next. And then two little ring trays and little like canisters. They have nothing in them, but they're just look cute. What up, Chief? Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. <laughs> Do you like the decor in the house? Yeah, it's nice. It's homey. What? It's homey. Yeah, see? It's warm. Cozy. Yeah. I got to come up with this look. Alright, what are we... It's going to be a cold shirt show. Why? I'm going to bust my fat ass. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to switch out these light bulbs. Oh, no, wait. Anyway, anyway. These are too tight. I'm shook. Are you gonna break that? Maybe. Wait. I don't know where to find out. Hold wait. on, wait. wait I, need, I need to hold the wall. Why did I even for? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't go through the middle of it. <laughs> oh my god, it's bending. It is? It's a great angle. Oh my god, it's an angle. It's an angle right now. Ow! Here, clean this. Well, how can I clean it? Windex? Yeah, well, no, why wipe your towel? Yeah, let's ratchet. it. Look. Those are, yeah, those are like fluorescent bulbs. Oh no, no, energy saving. Hate. Perfection. Save those, these are good lights. No, these are gross. Stop saving these in case something breaks. <sighs> okay, okay come, come, coming down. Come on. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no. You made it, wow. <laughs> Proud of you. You guys are in my cabinet above my oven. I'm just making dinner now. I'm gonna make some chicken cutlets. So I have my egg. I'm gonna add some whole milk. And then just bread the chicken cutlets. So yeah, we're gonna do chicken cutlet and then the leftover pasta that my grandparents sent over. Just easy. Quick, and then we're gonna decorate our Christmas tree. So excited. I've, we've never, well, I mean, I've never had my own Christmas tree. I don't think my, I don't know if my brother did either. When he was at college, he had like his own little like house kind of thing with his roommates. So I don't know if they ever had a Christmas tree. I'll have to ask him. I think he's home now actually. Someone's coming in. Hopefully it's him. It is. <laughs> Hello? What's up? What's up? Tree time! Sorry, that was so obnoxious. Oh my god. One half it's, one half it's lit. But we have extra lights. Yeah. Wait, where are the ones that are out? Oh, damn. I might connect for this one, though. All right, let's see. Let's hope. Does it? Nope. No. Damn, that one's out. That's probably why they got a new one. So bare. <laughs> That's the top of it? Yeah. Oh, it's oh, okay. Oh, shit comes down, though. It's okay, it's cute. We'll have to, we'll have to, it's not bad though. No, it's cute. We don't have a topper though either. It's fine. I just realized that. We just need to wrap the lights around. The middle. Where, the, where, are they, where are they? In there. These are Oliver and Lola stockings. I just got them the same ones. They're like really affordable at um, Christmas tree shop. They're like silver glitter. Silver sequins with like a faux fur top. I mean, they don't have their initials or anything, but they're cute enough. And then I got these two. She couldn't get me one. Rude. I don't even have one either. Rude. It's just for the babies. Rude. And then I got these little like, oh. What the fuck is that? Stocking holders. I got silver and gold because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do at first. What is that, Buddha? No. What? It's Santa Claus, look. Oh. They're little stocking, uh, what's it uh, called? Holders? Yeah, stocking holders. Oh. Aren't they cute? Sorry. Christmas tree shop. <gasps> then they, these are their stockings. So festive. Stockings are up. So cute.
The tree is done. It's so cozy. Oh, feels like Christmas. We just need to get a topper and a little skirt. But it's cute. All right, you guys, I am gonna call it a night. It's around 11 o'clock. I'm gonna start to get ready for bed, to take my makeup off and wash this hair, go to bed. Um, but I love you all so, so much. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.